I am super nervous right now, like seriously. As you see, I've built my PC here and I'm almost finished. I've managed all the cables, I tied everything back there and the modular power brick is also installed and every oh god I'm so nervous I can't even talk seriously <laughs> anyway so the last thing that's missing look how shaky I am <laughs> seriously <laughs> anyways the last thing that's missing is the GPU which is over there and I'll go get that beef because let me just show what a massive thing this is so here we go this thing is massive. I didn't know it would be this big, seriously. And I've got some four pin to, oh, uh, six pin to eight pin connectors here or adapters. We don't need those. So this is the GTX 1080 amp version. And look at this massive thing. I'm not even sure if it's in focus right now or not, but as a comparison, there's my hand. This thing is huge. So, uh, and don't worry, there is an IO shield on the back, so uh, no worries touching it like this. So, there we go. I'm going to remove the protective cap on the bottom and it's facing like this and the connectors need to go. Oops. It should work, I hope. Because else I'll have to move a few cables around here. But here we go. No it won't. Because this is the cages in the way. Oh for f sake, okay. I have to move the SSD cage. You know what, I'll, I'll just leave the video running here. Oop. Almost. Almost killed my graphics card. <laughs> what I have to do is to move the SSD cage to the top here, like it was before. And like it should have been, but I, I'm so down that moved it to the bottom. And seriously, how can I push it out here? Ah, okay. Simply slide it out. <laughs> so... I have a 500 gigabyte SSD and an M2, uh, M.2 500 gigabyte SSD in the case or on the motherboard. So I'm going to slide this thing out here and put it back on top here. And yes, you're going to see my face. <laughs> uh, oh my, well shit. I have to root a few cables. What, what the fuck? How's this thing? I, I can't get it in here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't need to root cables. Good. <laughs> so, I have to move this cable. Let me, let me zoom in a little bit here. So, I have to move this cable out here. And, is this the right way? No, it isn't. I like this. So I hope the connector is still going to fit here. And yes it is. I'm not sure if I'll cut out all of this because I'm just gambling around here. <laughs> so okay, but it wasn't that as hard as I thought it would be. So yeah, it's a little bit crammed back here and I'm not beautiful at all. Like I can't even get the cable down here anymore. Oh okay, that's the PCI cable, so I'll deal with it later. There we go. The graphic card will hopefully fit now. And you're probably wondering why I don't have a fan back here because uh, there, there are only three fan connectors on the motherboard and I'm already using two of them for the water cooler and one of it for the front spinning fan. So here we go. Here's the marriage or whatever you call it of the graphics card with the motherboard and I already tried it out once or not not in this configuration because I tried it while the motherboard was was naked <laughs> and just to see if it would fit at all in here 
that was already a seriously tight fit. And I think that's it. Let me slide the little connector here. No, it wasn't. Okay. Now it's in. There we go. Let's slide the connector, the locking me mechanism to the front and secure it with two bolts here. So I have no clue how to screw this thing in because the screws are so heavy they almost fall off of my screwdriver. There we go. Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So one screw connected and I just noticed that I would have to remove the graphics card if I want to plug in uh, another SATA drive, which I'll probably do soon because right now I just want to get it up and running because it's already half eight here. Oh shit, and there goes the screw. I have no clue where it went. Okay, out goes the graphic card again because me, as a dumbass, lost the screw in the graphics card. <laughs> Oh, and I almost lost a second screw in the graphics card. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on, baby. I already unlocked the thing back here. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Could you please come? Up? There we go. Thanks. I hope it didn't kill anything in here. Oh, God. I'm so bad at building computers. And it goes again, at least and now I know how it goes, <laughs> or how it should work. It's a really tight fit in here, like the case is just barely uh, wider or uh, deeper in, th in this uh, sense than the graphics card itself, so yeah. Well, let me try this again. I'll pull it without losing the screw this time. One screw in, second screw to go. Real careful. And it grips. Yes. Whew. Okay. So that's done. And the second thing I have to do is to plug in those cables. But they're really, really stiff. That won't fit in here. Why? Oh, okay, because, yeah. I have to plug it in like this. Oh, that's annoying. Seriously, how do you connect these? Or am I even... No, I'm not. Let me go here. There we go. So, it does fit right. Yeah, it does fit. Okay, I'm just super nervous because I don't want to ruin anything here. I mean, I could just buy new components, but why should I buy new components? If I can just use the ones I have right now without breaking them can you please just fit in here thank you and I don't think I need the second one but I will still connect it because uh, yeah I've, I've, from what I heard the second connect is just if you're an overclocker which this board can do because it's uh, set 170 or something. Yes, set 170 m based motherboard. Oh shit, I'm gonna miss the second connector here. Like PC building looks brutal, but if you do it in real life, it isn't brutal. Like I'm super careful with my stuff, but it still looks brutal on video. It's, it's like with every PC builder you're watching. So there we go. GPU is connected, um, I'll remove those two because they look ugly. Even though it, it would be good to leave them on because they're uh, dust protection. So everything should be ready to go. The next thing I'm really uh, nervous about is if these modular, let me just show you, if these modular power connectors here did fit in the right thing because I didn't force them in and but i'm still nervous because uh 
As example, the CPU header is just the same thing on here, like it's the same connector as the PCIe here. Probably the same voltage and everything, but yeah. And SATA cables here and everything. Oh yeah, so. Whew, that is done. So, the next thing is, will it boot? So I'm going to try it out uh, with a spare monitor. F. I mean, I could use this old bastard back here, <laughs> but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, it, it would be hilarious to start up such, an, such a beast here with an old monitor like this, but yeah. So did I connect the fan here? I think I did. I'm just going to check everything because you can never be too safe. Uh, water cooler is connected. Or water pump is connected and fan is connected up here. The fan back here is missing. I will get, uh, I think you can get uh, adapters for uh, your power supply to run an additional fan, which would be this one here, which came with the case, but yeah, I, can, I can't use it anymore. So because I ran out of connectors. I did switch the RAM over to A1 and B1 because you guys, uh, thanks again for uh, mentioning it in the comments because I didn't know at the time uh, that you're not, that you should not uh, connect both RAM sticks in the same A or B slots. So yeah, or in the same group of A and B slots. So I changed that, it's now A1 and B1, I think. A1 and B1, yes it is. And power cable is connected, USB free header is connected. Chase, what the? <laughs> Chase is fan, whatever you call it, is connected. The second one is connected, CPU is connected. No, ah, uh, that's the Chase fan, okay. That's up there, the C CPU fan, because it has four connectors. I mean, every, every connector has four, uh, every fan connector has four pins. So it's not really an issue here. So yeah, last thing to do, power it on, try it out and hope it won't explode. Okay, this is it guys. This is the final freaking moment. I'm just two switches away from, it's two switches and one button press away. Whew, I'm actually turning on my freaking UPC and I'm super hyped up. <laughs> Super nervous and super hyped up because I know I don't know if I screwed up or not. And this is my first build, my first ever build. So let's switch. I can't even talk seriously. Okay, this is off. Let's switch the first switch. There we go. First switch is switched. <laughs> Second switch is going to be switched now. Power, uh, graphics card is powering up, or is showing an LED. Whew. No shocking when I touch the case, that's a good sign. <laughs> and I'm going to press the button. And it powers on. Will it post? And it's super loud. And it turns off. Why? And it turns back on. And it turns back off. That's a bad sign. Or is it? No, it isn't. Holy shit, it po it's posting. Oh my god. It's actually freaking posting. I'm so relieved now. What? Oh, out of focus. Whew. It freaking posted. There are no LEDs on the water pump, even though I thought there would be. Is the fan even running? Yes, the fan is running. Front fan is running too. And it's actually louder than my old system, even though I didn't want that. <laughs> oh God, I'm so happy. <laughs> Anyways, enough with the weird noises I'm making. Let's actually look in the case here because it looks super boring and I didn't know that. Let's turn off the lights here. 
Like, the only light in here is the CPU. Ah, not the CPU, the GPU, I mean. With the little... You can actually see that. Still take a logo on there. And to push the limit up on there. And I thought the Corsair thing would also light up, but... Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe the pump is not running or anything. But... I'll probably see, because... That is super weird, that the pump isn't running. Like, shouldn't the Corsair logo light up or anything like that? Let, try, let me turn on the light again. I'm sorry for the dusty case, I'm going to clean it later. <sighs> but I think the pump isn't working. So, it is plugged in and it is right plugged in. Jesus, and maybe, can I somehow... Let me just check something. I, I want to see if I can check the temperatures and the bias itself. Because maybe it's already rising while I'm talking here and not working. F2 to run setup. That looks nice. <laughs> so, do I see some temperatures here? Okay, mouse is working. It's just a. <laughs> no, where is it? Yes. No, it isn't. Okay, CPU temperature is at 40. Five or something, 40, it's a little bit too uh, per ride. But it's at 47 almost and it's idling, so... I think something's wrong here. No, it's constantly, no, it's going down again. How can I check if a water cooler runs? <laughs> like seriously, that's my first uh, water cooler build and... Or my first all-in-one water cooler build and... This video is going far too long already, I all... Uh, I just figured out. Anyways, so let's set it to 30. It's kind of loud to be honest. I thought it would be a lot quieter. So I will install Windows 10 on here and see if it will shut down due to overheating. But maybe the, maybe the water cooler doesn't even have an LED. I'm not sure. It's weird because I thought it, I would have read that it has an LED in there, but yeah. Who knows? Anyways, maybe I'll make a follow-up once I've installed Windows 10. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> and if this video is going to end now, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Uh, leave a sub if you super liked it. And leave a download if you thought my PC building skills are cringy and I'm cringy too or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time if this video is going to stop now.